For me, strong leader is somebody that gives their people empowerment to discover new things and to learn from their mistakes and to explore the future. I think what's most energizing about being in food retail is you truly know that you're helping people. You know you're truly helping change lives. We work really hard to make sure we're serving each customer in each neighborhood to the best of our ability, and I think it's one of the real strengths of HEB. I think people want to do the right things, but they also want to do things right. And we have tried very hard to instill that in all of our people. If you're not changing, you're really going to get passed by in this business. We all know that. So we're always trying to find new ways to innovate and be exciting inside of our four walls. I think the real mark of leadership is helping develop people to places maybe they didn't even think they could get to. That's pretty cool. I think as digital continues to grow and expand at the rapid rate that it is, customer service and human interaction has become even more top of mind and even more crucial. Customer service uh, still requires doing the same things we've always done. Clean stores, full shelves, nice people, all of that still matters. I think by listening, you find out what's really important to your customer and then you tailor your company's approach to their needs so that you can solve the problems that they've got. That's the way I've always looked at customer service and I think if you stick with that, it'll help guide you throughout all the changes that are likely to come in the future. For me, um, that's one of the biggest challenges of our industry is to build that relationship with your customers such that they don't even care if somebody comes down the street and opens a new store because they're not gonna move away from the relationship they've built with you. It's still about being good to people, uh, meeting their needs, exceeding their needs, listening to them, admitting you're wrong, and uh, trying to satisfy each guest that we come in contact with. We make every uh, employee uh, we call partners, we make them all owners in the company, and unfortunately, not always enough companies, their entire goal is to win through investing in people. That winning through people is going to be the answer. The front line of our industry are the people that get up early every day and carry the load. They get the work done and they're the most important people in the company. I believe in investing them because if you do and you have an inspired group of frontline employees, they'll knock down obstacles that you never dreamed you could get knocked down. We have lots of ways of, of coaching and teaching our associates, such as what we call the hub. We're quizzing them and teaching them about things in their area of the store and also sending messages about what's going on in our business. So that's one way that we try and communicate and keep them engaged and growing and learning so that maybe this is a job that turns into a career for them at some point. One of my heroes is Coach Vince Lombardi of the Green Bay Packers. And he said, it's impossible to be perfect, but if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. And I'll tell young leaders, don't ever stop chasing excellence. We want our people to be the very best they can be because they're a reflection of us. Often I think young talent wants to move right to the top and be the boss right away, which to me is kind of like skipping chapters in a book. You miss something if you do that. The American dream is alive and well in the food industry. Meeting some of my friends at retail, when I ask them, and they might be the CEO of a big company, and they start out as a stock boy at age 16. People often call up and say, they're, oh, competitors are in our store taking pictures of the building and the decor and the products and the prices and the format, but they never take pictures of the people. And I think what they do is they mistake the store for the building and the assets rather than the people who are really the true asset of, of any business. It feels good to give back. It's fulfilling to give back. I always say that it's not all that fulfilling to put a case of peas on the grocery shelf. When we know we made an impact in the community, that's something that myself and the whole team can feel good about. We work really hard to be the very best retailer we can be on every block in every corner of Texas. We really believe that our stores and our people are the most inspired in retail. I believe a rising tide lifts all ships, so anything that we can do to make our communities better helps everybody. 
I think it's always been in our DNA to care about our customers, care about our associates, and care about our community partners. And putting dietitians in the stores is a huge testament to that. You know, the legacy I hope to leave in food retail is one of helping people. I, I really believe that we're all a product of the people that we've come in contact with over our careers and our life, and that trying to help as many people as we can not only lifts them up, it lifts us up. And I think that uh, if that's my legacy, I'll be very proud of it.